An unprecedented leak is causing shockwaves across the country. A report out last night showed the 6-3 to three conservative leaning Supreme Court could be ready to overturn Roe v. Wade, which protects a woman's right to an abortion. And this is sparking fierce backlash from pro-choice advocates. Meanwhile, anti-abortion supporters say the leak was pol politically motivated. Here to talk about this is Katie Naranjo, chair of the Travis County Democratic Party, and Diana Gomez, advocacy director for Progress Texas. Thank you both for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Katie, polls show a majority of Americans, about 60%, want the Supreme Court to uphold Roe v. Wade. Talk about the impact if it is overturned after nearly 50 years. It has devastating consequences for, for women, for families, but also um, people's respect and trust when it comes to the letter of law. Um, when we look at stare decisis and precedent and how we apply laws, most importantly, uh, previous rulings, the fact that we can no longer trust that for the last 50 years, the Supreme Court, which has numerous times across numerous federal courts, have held the right to a woman's right to an abortion um, is now gone. But the, the actual um, opinion itself goes even further. It attacks uh, trans rights, gay rights. Um, you can look at Loving v. Virginia in terms of who you can marry and who you can love. So it has devastating consequences for, for women and, and reproductive rights, but far beyond that. Diana, there is more support for abortion rights in the Democratic Party, but there are Republicans who do support Roe v. Wade. If it's overturned, do you expect any backlash for the Republican Party come November? Definitely. Um, and like was like what was shared earlier, that most Americans support access to abortion. So do most Texans. Um, this is not a, a Democrat versus a Republican issue. It is a issue of health care because abortion is health care. And it's not just women who deserve access to abortion, but also Texans who are trans or non-binary. It's really important to know that abortion is still legal and that you know, folks recognize that this would be a human rights violation because it would create forced pregnancies and folks on both, side, both sides don't want that. Katie, if the Supreme Court overturns Roe v. Wade, it would be up to states to decide if they will allow abortions. Given that Texas already has one of the most restrictive abortion laws in the country, what do you expect to happen here? Well, in the last legislative session, um, we, we you know, Republicans attacked again the, the right for a woman to have access to her own body um, and to make decisions with her position. As a woman of childbearing age who has a child and is also thinking about having another, it's terrifying to me and to any woman who, who is planning or isn't planning um, in, in regards to their family planning needs. And um, what will happen if, when Roe v. Wade gets overturned, which we expected all along, given the questions we heard from the justices, um, what will happen is within 30 days in Texas, um, we have what we call the trigger law, um, which will be uh, once Roe v. Wade is overturned officially, obviously this is draft opinion, uh, then what will happen is uh, it will become a felony within 30 days in the state of Texas for any physician to perform an abortion, um, including life in prison, as well as a $100,000 fine, with the only exception in an extreme case for preserving the life of the mother. So we're talking about fetal abnormalities. We're talking about um, fetuses that will be will, will never be viable, right? Um, and the way we define abortion in Texas in particular, um, it talks about, it actually includes miscarriages as well. Um, so people who may be intending to have the child and planning for it, um, you actually have to still abort a fetus uh, in terms of a miscarriage as well. So it's devastating consequences and will be a, a, a felony within 30 days of it being overturned. Diana, um, the draft report from the Supreme Court was leaked. Does this concern you at all? And what kind of precedent does that set? I mean, the uh, what's concerning is the precedent that would be set if Roe is overturned, because as Katie mentioned, it sets a, a dangerous precedent of activist uh, folks on the Supreme Court, um, you know, judges, to overturn any of our rights they don't agree with, uh, probably based on uh, you know religious beliefs, and the court is supposed to uphold our constitution instead of actively trying to change it. Um, 
like Katie said, criminalization is the ultimate goal. And there are many cases in which it's difficult to tell the difference between an abortion or a natural miscarriage, which will lead to a lot of folks behind bars um, because, of, because of what's happening. And it's very important for folks to know that this is the time to support abortion funds across the state, but also to know that they need to elect politicians who will commit to protecting our right to abortion. All right, Diana, Katie, we are out of time, but thank you both for sharing your time and perspectives with us tonight. Thank you. Thank you.